Hello and welcome to today's coffee lecture. Our guest today is Nives Korodi. She's working for the University Library Open Science team, and she's actually an expert for open access funds. Hello, everybody. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you about the fund of the University um, Library of Bern and other possibilities um, how you can finance your both open access publication. First, I will give you a short overview about the different ways of open access publishing. And then I will sketch out what are you paying for when you pay APCs? What are the possibilities to finance your publication and where you can find some support? In the discussion part, Andrea Hacker and I will answer your questions. There are different roads to open access publishing. The green road means that you make your publication available in a repository, such as Boris at the University of Bern. This road is most important if you publish your article in a subscription journal and you need to meet uh, funders or institutions requirements of open access publishing. Please always check embargo policies of the journals before you choose this road. The other possibility is the gold road with its variants diamond and hybrid open access. Gold open access means that the article is published in an open access journal and therefore is immediately accessible. Gold open access publishing comes with the bill for APCs, the author processing charges. The hybrid open access options means that a subscription journal gives free access to individual articles if the author, authors pay an APC. The rest of the issue stays behind the paywall. The Diamond Road is gold open access without APCs. Diamond journals are financed on community-based models or the like, and that's why neither author nor reader has to pay. We will now focus on the gold and hybrid roads and the questions around APCs. The APC model emerged with the rise of open access. The publishers wanted to address their fading uh, subscription revenues. APCs are charged to cover the costs associated with the publication process, like editing, hosting, archiving, etc. But to these effective costs, a profit margin is added. These margins vary, especially according to the prestige of a journal. So when you pay an APC, you pay for the effective costs, the profit margins, and the prestige. As the margins are in some cases very high, it is worth considering costs before submitting a manuscript. Sometimes even supplementary costs are added to the APCs. So for images or supplementary pages, and sometimes you're charged if you want, for example, um, publish under a CC BY license, instead of the CC BY and C license that is proposed by the journal. Another phenomenon is the rise of so-called admin charges. Springer, for example, charges you for PDF invoices instead of payment by credit card. For the APCs, you have different funding options. If your research has been funded by the SNSF, check the eligibility with the SNSF via Chronosmart. The University of Bern offers you the Open Access Publication Fund and the Read and Publish Agreements. Both have restrictions and criteria for support. One criteria is the affiliation. So the Open Access Fund covers APCs if the corresponding author has a university email only. And each Read and Publish Agreement covers only the corresponding authors of their respective supporting institution. Some read and publish agreements do not cover all journals of the publisher. And in these cases, it is important to know that publication in hybrid journals 
not included in the deals cannot be funded under Open Access Fund. So the read and publish deals are deals of the Swiss consortium with different publishers and the University of Bern participates in some of them. These deals transform subscription licenses into agreements that include the reading uh, access to the subscription journals, as well as a publishing part that covers APCs for university members who choose to publish open access in these journals. Often only hybrid journals are included in these agreements, but some also include both journals. There are even few agreements covering only gold open access journals. Some of the agreements guarantee unlimited publishing, while others define an annual publication quota. This limited quota go with the big problem of leaving researchers with uncovered APCs once the annual quota has been reached. Our e-library team is aware of that problem and is striving to provide best and most up-to-date information about the article quota. I do not want to go into details about the individual agreements. You can find all these informations on the current read and published deals, as well as the negotiations going on, on our website. There are information about quota workflows and the journals included in the different deals. For all questions not answered in the FAQs, you can contact our e-support team. If you publish in a pure gold open access journal, you can apply via the online application form on our website for funding from the open access fund. This as soon as you received the invoice for the APCs. Here again, please check ideally before submitting an article if the journal meets the funds criteria. The journal should be listed in DOAJ it must allow CC BY licenses. And as already mentioned, hybrid journals are excluded from funding. The same applies to predatory journals, as well as to publications with APCs higher than 2,500 francs. Please note that here, as with some read and publish agreements, annual funding is limited. You can find the up-to-date information on how much money is left on the website in our fuel indicator. There, you can also find information about the agreement with Frontiers, in particular that the prepaid balance for 2023 was exhausted already in July and Frontiers articles can no longer be funded this year. Let me quickly summarize. Uh, with an overview of the funding possibilities. There are the funding instruments of your institution, in our case, that are the University of Bern Open Access Publishing Fund and the Read and Publish Agreements. And if your APCs are not covered by one of these two, maybe your institute or faculty have funds to cover your APCs. Then there are the other funding instruments, for example, the SNSF. The SNSF funds your resulting publication as long as it is published in both open access. To avoid that you have to pay APCs out of your personal funds, always check your financing options before you submit your manuscript to a journal. Inform yourself about the journal itself and the quota and eligibility criteria of the respective funding instruments. While funders are quite clear about their rules, checking a journal can be quite tricky. If you have doubts about the quality of a journal, the questions on the left side on this slide might help you to assess the journal. There are also some tools that can be very useful in the process of choosing or excluding a journal and or finding possibilities for funding or embargo and information. I would just like to highlight the two newly integrated tools on our website. This is the OA Finder, 
With the OA Finder, you can check funding possibilities at the University of Bern for a journal you have you want to publish in. And Bison, there you can find a gold or a diamond open access journal that matches the content of your manuscript. And if you still have some doubts about the journal, you can always contact us and we will try to help you as good as we can. The information about our services and contact information, you find them here on this slide or at our website. So now there is time for your questions and points you would like to discuss.